friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris and Zaya and Mally uh, from Nova Scotia Living. And it is Wednesday morning. It's chilly out right now, a little breezy. High of four, low of minus four. And it's gonna be a busy day. We're just outside waiting for the bus. I got the other kids off earlier. And yeah, just wanted to start this video before the day got away from us. What are you looking at? Did you see something I didn't see? A squirrel? She's looking like she's watching something. Maybe a cat. Maybe a cat. I don't know. But snow showers today. But when my girlfriend over to my house, I'm going to have a million cats. The bus? Yeah. Okay. All right, I love you. Have a good day. I'll meet you at the dentist. I'm going to call the school. I'm going to tell the school that you guys meet in the front lobby at 2.45. Oh, we'll see. I'll have to message Mally. I don't know if she caught that. Oh. Huh? Eh? All right. Violet is not paying no mind. Is there something up there? I see a squirrel's house or a bird house up there. That hole in the tree there. I don't know. Oh, all right guys, it is 9.57. I actually had a shower, then I had a bath. I think this is the first bath I've ever had in this house. We've been here like seven years. I'm not a bath person at all. I think this is. I don't ever remember having a bath here, but I wanted to try to soak because my skin was so dry yesterday. Um, and But I had a shower before I had a bath because I wanted to be clean before I got in the bath. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's just my, the way my mind works. <coughs> Anyways, I just made a fire because it went out last night. My husband's getting ready to go to the city. And yeah, yeah. I just wanted to check in. Um, in the bath, I use some of that uh, Aveeno bath oil that I use on Maze just to see how it affects my skin. I used that years and years and years ago. I remember liking it, but it's been years. Um, so, anyways, yeah. The big girls have dentist appointment today at 3 o'clock, so I'm going to call the school and make sure that they're dismissed at quarter to 3. Um because their appointment's for three and they can walk to the dentist. They're grumbling about that, but I said, that's tough titty. You gotta, you gotta walk there. I'll be in there around 3.30. I'll wait till Misha gets home. Mays has basketball after school, gets done at 3.30. So when Misha gets home around quarter to three, we're gonna head right back into town. And uh, I'll see if dad can pick up Mays. I just don't know how long their appointments will be. So dad can pick up Maze from basketball, bring him to his house, and then after the girl's dentist appointment, um, we can go pick him up and then head home. It's going to be a bit crazy, but we're going to do it. Anyways, I see Mally uh, messaging me. Just a minute. Woo! All right, guys, it's 12.17. I just got off the horn talking to my sister, Carrie. We talked for almost an hour and a half, which was awesome. Um, yeah, just chit-chatting about things. Here's our piano and all our Christmas stuff. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do for supper. I really don't. I don't feel like doing anything. I can't make spaghetti again. I can't make chili again. I have hamburger. I have ribs, but I'm going to do that on Friday. I don't feel like making anything at all. That's the hard thing about making supper every day. You run out of ideas. And I have ideas, but I don't feel like... I don't want to make meatloaf. I don't want to make hamburgers. I don't want to make anything. I might just make craft dinner, honestly. We're gonna have a busy afternoon, or maybe I'll just buy them hamburgers from McDonald's. Right, Violet? I don't know what I'm gonna do, but yeah. Yeah, so anyways, just letting you know, it was so nice to talk to Carrie. Couldn't believe we talked that long. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm outside with these guys. These fellas, um, I just called the high school to make sure that 
uh, the girls are dismissed early to walk over and I called the dentist office too to make sure they're aware that they're going to show up by themselves but I will be in and everything's all hunky-dory so it's fine it's fine um, we kind of had a little cuddle this afternoon, about half hour, and now it's time to get ready to go. I'm going to wait for Mally, Misha to get home. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hopefully May's remembered basketball, but if not, he'll be on the bus. I'm going to throw, fill up the stove again before we go, and then we'll spin into town. And, yeah, that should work out just fine. Violet, get in the back. Come on. No. In the back. You got one. Bring water All right. Three water bottles. All right. Well, there's lots of water in here now. Uh, I got Misha. We got these two ding dongs. We're gonna go into town. Well, the fastest. They should have better health care here. Anyways, I'm at the dentist's office with everybody. I won't show. I'm just showing your knee. Just your knee. I don't want to have to wait two hours. Well, five hours. To the hospital in oh, by helicopter? It wouldn't take that long. Um, anyways, Misha and I are going to go over and get Mays here in a sec. I couldn't get a hold of Dad, so we're going to go over. But I did stop to Pizza Light and order a party pizza, because party time. Excellent. Eh? Oh, stop it. I'll be right back. Oh. All right, we're at the school to get Mays. Boris is sticking the snow out the window, barking his head off. I just need to make sure Mays gets picked up. Then we'll go back to the dentist. All right, we're in the school. We went and looked at the lost and found because Mays did not have a snow pants or boots. Found his boots at the lost and found. Can't find his snow pants. So. <clears throat> well, let's walk out this way. He thought his hat was outside. I don't think he found it. Did you find it? No? Okay, let's go. Oh, God. Well, for heaven's sakes, I can't climb over that. <laughs> no. Or just stand outside the car. I can't climb over that. Oh, God. I gotta walk away all the way around the friggin' school. For crying out loud. They have it chained up. <sighs> Lord. All the way around. <sighs> for heaven's sakes, I'm surprised Mally isn't messaging me like crazy. By the time I get back to the car, I'll be able to stop and pick up that pizza. <laughs> But I can't leave that pizza in the car without being supervised because Violet and Boris, I'm sure, would love to stick their nose in it. And oh, goodness sakes, I haven't been around this side of the school since I used to go here. They didn't have this fence here. Oh, little end end grade sixes so this school goes up to grade six we'd hang out here and hold hands with boyfriends and stuff <sighs> lord love a duck now we're here this is i forget what they call it some sort of game my goodness i sent my children off I'll meet you there. <laughs> I suppose I could probably crawl over that if I really had to, but I'm not going to throw my back out trying to do that unless it's life and death or something along those lines. It's chilly out, but it's not super duper cold right now. I did stock up the fire before we left, so it should be nice and cozy. Shut the drafts too. Gosh, hopefully by the time we get back there, the girls are done. They weren't doing anything today. They're just taking x-rays and stuff. So. Oh. 
Jeez. There's the Canadian flag. Oh, they're standing by the car. <laughs> Waving. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> Bye. Oh, okay. All right. My goodness. All right. I made it back to Pete's Light, then I'm going to go to the dentist. Or a stick of cork in it. <laughs> I already paid for it and everything, so I'm just going to pick it up. All right, I put the pizza in the trunk. I've got these guys in here. Here's Misha. And both Mally and I are in the dentist, so we keep checking on the uh, dogs. They're doing okay. But <laughs> we're watching the World Cup. Very exciting Canada's in the World Cup. I'm just checking on them. There's a little dog right there that they were barking at. So they're making fools of themselves. You hear me? There's a helicopter, hella like emergency helicopter taking off. I feel like parking the car over there, maybe they won't bark so much. Whew. All right, guys, we're all done at the dentist. They both need to go back for an appointment, but that's okay. This is going to be a squished ride home. Mally's just in the Dollarama. Oh, she's coming out now. The pizza's in the trunk. My gas light isn't on now, so I'm just going to zip home. Yeah. All right, it's quarter after five. We just got home. It's half Hawaiian, half meat, and it probably needs to be microwaved. But, yeah, that's going to be supper. Pizza delight. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. There's Boris. Here's Violet. Say good morning, Violet. There's my coffee. Oh, watch out, hon. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock, 7.57 in the morning. The kids don't have school today. It's Thursday. It's compost day, so i got to drag that across the street. But anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'm probably going to do a squisher. I don't think I filmed very much yesterday. It was just one of those kind of days. But <clears throat> I'm having my coffee. Um, and I have, I'm getting my winter tires on today, which is exciting. Brand spanking new winter tires. So I needed to leave here probably in about a half hour, drive down to, uh, my brother-in-law's and, uh, I'm going to get my tires changed, which is exciting. Woo. And yeah, the kids are all still sleeping except Messiah. I will make sure she's aware. And I told the kids last night I'm going to be going down. I'll tell Mally too uh, when I leave. I was thinking about taking these guys, but I might not because I'm going to maybe stop to a store on the way home. So uh, by these guys, I mean Violet and Boris. Um, I might stop to a store on the way home. I don't know how long it takes to get tires on. Maybe an hour. Maybe not. I don't know. I have no idea. I forget. Um... But I will probably end up doing a squisher video yesterday and today. Maze has hockey tonight. It's supposed to be the high of one, low of minus four today. Right now it's minus four. Um, and, yeah, I'm just so thankful I'm getting my winter tires on now. Because that terrifying trip to town last Sunday is enough to do me in. I'm telling you. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to have my coffee. I don't know. I kind of want to take these guys, but I don't get a chance to go to stores by myself. And I might just come back on the highway and stop to Superstore. I'd like to go to the dollar store because when I was there with Misha and Mays the other day, there's some stuff I'd like to get for, like, Christmas and stuff. But I can't really get stuff when they're with me. And... I don't know how long it'll be in the store because, you know, once things are gone, they're gone. You never know if Dollarama gets stuff back. So I might do that. Um, I don't want to be out gallivanting all day, but if I could be down there for 930, maybe be home by lunchtime. That's not too bad. 
So anyways, I'm just going to have my coffee now and I'll be back. Ooh. All right, guys, it's 857. Um, the kids are all up. I am leaving Violet and Boris. I feel kind of bad, but it's just, it's really cold out and it's not going to take that long to change my tires. I'll head home, stop to the store and then be back. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's yeah, 857. I'll be down there right around 930. I'm not going to go the back way. I really want to, but my tires are so bold. I don't want to chance popping a tire or anything. So I'm going to go down the highway and yeah, probably just listen to an audiobook. All right, guys, I got new tires on. It feels so good. I don't know if you can tell when you're driving a vehicle with new tires. It feels like, it feels different. So I feel so much better that they're on. Um, I didn't film any down there, but I just got back to town. I'm at the Dollarama. I'm going to go in there real quick. And uh, I might stop to the Superstore too. But um, yeah, I'm just going to zip in there. I just got off the phone with... Yeah, I just got off the phone with Dad, like on speakerphone. Talked to him halfway home, and he's having a good day. He's seen a hockey net on sale at Canadian Tire this week, 50% off. He's like, do you think Mays would like that for Christmas? I said, yeah, he would love it. <laughs> he could use that in the winter or the summer, ball hockey out in the driveway and stuff. So he's going to spin over there and get it. And he said he might come to hockey tonight. I said, yeah, you're more than welcome. So anyways, I'm just going to pop in there. I, the parking lot seems busy, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, I made it from the dollar store. I'm at Superstore. I'm going to go in quick. I might pick up something easy for lunch, and then I'm going to head home. So, yeah, I'm feeling accomplished. I got some, like, Christmas, you know, stocking stuff, stuff. I can't really show you because I'm scared the kids might accidentally watch my video and, you know, that sort of thing. But I got some stuff. It was really busy in there. It took more time in line than doing anything else. But I did it. I'm done. I'll go in here and then go home. I don't know. All right, guys, it's 12.28. I just got home. I'll show you what I got at the store. So at Superstore, never, ever tried these before. I plan on making ribs tomorrow for supper anyways, but I'm going to put these in the freezer. They're like fully cooked, dry pork ribs, 50% off. This did have a sticker. It fell off, though. I don't know. They might be garbage. They might be good. But I thought five bucks a pack. I got two for the price of one. Why not? I got two of these chicken kebabs, 50% off, two for the price of one. I think those were $14.99 regular, which is insane, but I got two for the price of one. How much? Um, I got a beef brisket, $17.75 regular, $17.81 a kg, 50% off. Uh, this one was $15.60. I was thinking it might have a curry beef. I feel like having curry, but not right now. I bought the kids each one of these pops. I don't generally do that, but they were 50 cents each. They're dream flavored, dream world flavored, something. I thought, why not just to try? Um, I got two cucumbers. Those were $1.99 each. I got butter. Those were $4.49 each. I got jello things, two for $6. Um, at the dollar store, I got Mally and Mazaya sweet chili heat and maize and Misha, some nacho cheese Doritos back at Superstore I got two hand sanitizers those were 50 cents each um, I got this I thought they could have for lunch I know they had pizza last night for supper it's gone but they could have that um, easy and I got a big bag of potatoes um, for I forget what they were but the last the last and I got these little I call them Christmas oranges like those easy peel ones those were $2.99 um, and that's everything I got. Oh, I got some carbonated stuff out in the porch, but I didn't bring that out. So, yeah, that's what I got in town. All right, I'm just sitting here and talking with Mally and Misha. Misha made a little snack. They did have pizza pops for lunch, but, yeah. Mally cut up a cucumber for her. Misha did the apple and the little Christmas orange. Looks pretty nutritious, Mish. And she has her Nutrition uh Marvel Christmas sweater on and matching lipstick. <laughs> All right, Mally's decided to make a meatloaf. So that's good. I just made a pot of rice because I was gonna do these. I'm still gonna do these for supper and a pot of rice, but we had a couple packs of hamburgers. She's gonna make a meatloaf with one and then scramble up the other. No, I'm gonna cook it another way. You're, You're gonna, gonna cook it a different way. Well, whatever. Whatever. But yeah, the pots, uh, the pot of rice is over there on the stove. 
It's basmati rice, two cups of rice, three cups of water. Bring it to a boil, throw a blob of butter in it, any spices you want, put a lid on it, I take it off the heat. Well, they might. Take it off the heat and leave it for 20 minutes. I did that, only I doubled it. So, yeah. Look at those. Oh, 350. We'll just let it go till it's done. This is the meatloaf she whipped up. There's spinach, onion, onion, garlic, Larry's, ketchup, mustard, eggs, all in here. It smells really good. All right, guys, I'm about to stick these in the oven. Mally peeled a whole pot of potatoes and cooked those up, too, to go with the meatloaf. So we're going to have lots of food. Hmm. But I'm going to stick these in 425, 16 to 18 minutes. Turn them once. All right, I want to show you Mally's whipped potatoes. She cooked spinach with it, so there's little bits of spinach all cut up in it, too. And it looks so food. good. Yeah. Yeah. You see the little specks. Looks good. All right, this is a mismatched kind of supper. Uh, there's some kebabs. I didn't get a pitcher, Mally. Too bad. Uh, a pot of rice to go with this. And let me show them your meatloaf. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I'm going to give the kids the option of what they want. All right, this one's size, a little bit of everything. Some rice, soy sauce, two kebabs, a bit of meatloaf, and some potatoes. Carb it up. Ooh, all right, guys, you got to shut that inside door too, Mish. Mom, I can't. Why not? Because I have Well, you're bringing, what, six books to the rink? That's, that's <laughs> three. Three? Oh, heavens to Betsy. i got to shut this inside door. Oh. Anyways, we're on our way to the hockey rink. Maze is in the back. He's all dressed, ready to go. I just need to throw his skates, helmet, and gloves on. And, yeah, pretty dark out. We made it. We made it. I'll wait for Misha. Nice jacket, Mish. She's got Christmas earrings on, Christmas sweater, got Christmas Not books. Christmas no? Oh. Mom, what day is it? It's Thursday. Saturday is your hockey game. Yeah, Tomorrow's Friday and then it's Saturday. Oh, two days, two days. Yeah, go on in. Open the door, Mish. Go on in. Ooh, look, nice and shiny, shiny. Come this way, Maze. Are they making the ice? No, I think they already did the ice. Oh, the canteen's not open. No, they're not on there yet. Uh, what one is it? I don't know. Oh, hi. All right, so we're gonna buy hockey players. So I can't go on the ice till the coach goes on. I forgot to use this friggin' hockey stick because I cleaned the car yesterday, but they had extra sticks here. So, so um, they ended up having one here for him to use. Thank goodness. I mean, he could still go on the ice and everything, but it's good to have a stick. So, oh, Misha's here. She had to run to the see all the little hockey players. The stick he has is just a little big for him, but it'll do. Oh, gosh. Oh, and these are the books Misha brought. Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Like the classic. I read that last year. Um, it's good. I actually listened to it on Audible. Um, and it's Tim, Tim Curry that... Uh, it was free. Tim Curry that narrated it, and it was fantastic. And she brought the best Christmas stories ever. Old school. Classics. And then she brought the Christmas Eve mystery and other holiday stories. Yeah. She's like her mama. She likes to bring books everywhere. But, yeah, that's what she brought. I thought they were just cheering when the coach came up. They are about to... They were about to go out. Look at them flood. This is right there. Yeah. He's the little one.
There he goes. He's going right for that puck. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> there. All right, they're all warmed up. They just called them down to that end of the rink. They have a game on Saturday, so I gotta get them into shape, I guess. You gotta keep an eye out for Papa. But. Oh. Yes, watch out though. Watch out. I got one in my pocket. <laughs> we finished that booklet. We're gonna get another one. Papa's here. He's way over there watching Maze because Maze is playing right here. Um, and they take turns going up to the net and trying to shoot in. Oh, baby. We gotta get these ones done. A big old stack. <laughs> oh, Nelly. I know, there's a whole box down there. It's for the diggy, or like for the school, home and school association. <laughs> right. Dad even helped with the tickets. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> we did two big bundles. But they're doing like a skirmish and they're all on the ice, so it's a big frenzy. <laughs> Yeah. Maze doesn't have one of the yellow things on. But hard to get the puck when there's so many people on the ice. No. Just giving them some kind of idea of what Saturday will be like. There he is out in the middle there. He's smart, waiting for the puck. Oh, there he goes. What? Zip it up? Alright, they just blew the whistle. The Zamboni's about to come out. They'll do their little cheer. And, yeah. I think we put a dent in that box of tickets, though, don't you think? Yeah. There's lots of parents here. Oh, somebody's birthday. They're singing happy birthday. That's nice. Yeah, Maze is right there. There he goes, races to the gate. I'll meet you down there, Mace. You go down, I'll be right there. At the very end of this hall, Mace, we need to drop that hockey stick off. Whew. I forgot his jacket, but he's sweating buckets, so. Oh, Papa's down there waiting for you. He didn't get away this time. Oh. Just about drank his whole water bottle in one gulp. Oh. There they are. <laughs> I need to put this in the closet here, I think. Yeah, I forgot his hockey stick. I've never been in here before. It's the supply closet. Just shut that for me. They always have extra gear and stuff. Oh boy. He was doing some good, huh? Yeah. No, I forgot his jacket. Hi. I forgot his jacket. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. I think I'm going to put an ending on this video. Uh, I know it's been just a eh, kind of past couple of days, but 
There's Boris. Violet just jumped off and he just jumped right back, like right up behind her. But I have my coffee made. Um, I have the kids' lunches made. It's Friday. It's supposed to be rainy today, I think I said. Not warm, but rainy. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I do plan on filming today, but uh, we'll just put an ending on this and stir fresh. Again, I'm going to end up making ribs today, I think. And I think my husband's coming home. We might be buying a new fridge, too, which is exciting. Um, so, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But... Yeah, it was nice to go to hockey practice last night, and it was nice dad was there. And, yeah, Mace's big game is tomorrow, his second game, so that's exciting. It'll be fun. Oh, boy. I'm sleepy. Um, but I did wake up at 5.33 this morning. My alarm was set for 5.35, so I woke up just before. And it's about quarter after six now. We went out and took care of their business and stuff. I came back and unloaded the dishwasher, loaded it back up. I'll turn it on after my coffee and because there won't be enough for any breakfast dishes after they get up and have breakfast. But I'll just have to do another load later. But anyway, so I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, <clears throat> okay guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink. Boink.